I was gonna do salt and pepper syrup because, you know, Katie's put it in my head all morning. So salt and pepper may have come from humble beginnings, but they went on to change the world of hip hop and their new biopic shows us how it all began. Arby, can we just take a break, clear our minds for a second? No. I need y'all to get in the booth, put these vocals down. Come on, here we go. Yo, that's that's your boyfriend. Man. Yo, Fresh, give me that. All right. He's gonna even help. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sandy, let's do this. Ooh, it sounds better when they say it. Joining us now from the cast of the upcoming Salt and Pepper movie, please welcome Gigi Townsend. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Gigi. Good morning. So good to see you. Like I told you, in your honor, I'll be going by OGG all morning. And we already met your, nice. your we already met the pepper to your salt, Layla, earlier. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. And we were twinning, and you and I are twinning. How? Middle part. That's right. We got the text, because we're in a text. <laughs> we're in a text, and no, we're not. Yeah. All right, so you play Salt in the movie, right? Yes. All right, so we yes. were t I was talking to Layla earlier, and I was asking her if she learned anything about the group that surprised her, and she said it was how, how much your character, Salt, how much she produced songs, and how Peppa helped help the business end of things. So what was, this, what was surprising right. the most to you about these trendsetters? Um, as far as what I learned, how they, even though life happened in the midst of their career and them on the rise, how they never let the things that they were going through personally affect them as artists. And, you know, the, the, the bigger picture of, you know, we still have a duty to our fans and the show must go on. Yeah, and I love the bond. Like, their bond was, we could tell that their chemistry, like, watching them in real life, their bond was real. And you two were able to capture that bond, like, easily. So, I know what she told us, what her uh, audition process was like. And I was saying, like, I love the flashbacks with the videos you took us back to the outfits. I like the striped bodysuit that I remember from, like, the it's, it's just everything, the hairstyles and stuff. So, what was the mm -hmm. toughest routine for you? Which of the songs was the toughest for you? Because you guys made it seem easy. Push It, for sure, what? was the toughest routine. Yeah, because listen, it wasn't until we had to put it on its feet. So we're in the heavy eight ball, full leather jackets. We have gold rope chains swinging and hitting us in the face. You know, boots that were like slipping all over stage. So putting it actually on its feet, Push It was the toughest performance for me, right. uh, just based off of the costume. All right, so I can't even wait for the, the whole craziness of the pandemic to be over, so I can actually give you to a real high five and a hug for the great job that you do. And I know that you guys had Thank some you. great people behind you because Mario Van Peebles directed, uh, Queen yes. Latifah executive produced, and the Salt and Pepper themselves executive produced. So I'm sure that you got to meet yes. them. So what was the first interaction like? Because I don't, I think I would get arrested if the, my first time meeting them. They would think it's an attack. I'm gonna be like, oh, <laughs> no joke. So my my first interaction with Cheryl was via uh, telephone. Mm -hmm. It was about a week after I got the role, and we knew that we were going straight into boot camp. So I had to, you know, start preparation right away with her. And she was on tour at the time, so we were just able to um, connect via telephone and FaceTime. But then after they got off tour and we were in Toronto, they then came up to Toronto while we were shooting. All right, so you, you've been doing this acting thing for a little bit now, but I see you, like, talking about how this is a huge... It is a huge deal for you because they are the first ladies of hip-hop. I saw you guys, like, posting your... Showing your posters that are all, all like, mm -hmm. all over the place. So we are so proud of you, so happy for you. But I'm actually surprised that this role, that you're acting as a musician because you have music in your blood. Let yes. Let the sun shine. Yes, I know. The, my was, is that okay, your grandpa? It was amazing. It was amazing. Yes. Ron Townsend from the Fifth Dimension was my grandfather. And, you know, I, I feel like my family expected, you know, entertainment to just be something that I was going to tap into eventually. And, you know, rest his soul, he's not here to see it. But I know that he's just proud of the things that I've accomplished. And, you know, doing the Townsend name proud. You sure are. And you, you, you think he's not. He, he, they, they're always here. They're always here, yeah, and yeah. we will be here come Saturday night to check you out as Salt in the Salt and yes. Pepper biopic on Lifetime. We cannot wait. And you have to come back, because Layla is also helping me with, with like, my workout stuff, so you're going to help me, too. Maybe we can do a dance Salt and Pepper challenge. Of course. 
push it. Oh, I got you. All right. I got you. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Oh, Gigi loves you. Thank you for having me. Always. Have a great day. You too. Bye.